If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning 100,000 coins on Ultimate Team in my October giveaway, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Best of luck and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Wear here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best players to invest in for the brand new upcoming Serie A League SBC. Now, for those of you who don't know, every single week here, I release a bunch of these new SBCs for a variety of leagues across the world. And although not all of these are guaranteed, the five we know will be released at some point over the next couple of months are the five major leagues, the Serie Bundesliga, La Liga, Liga and obviously the Premier League as well, the most popular leagues on Ultimate Team. Now, if you guys invest in the players I show you in this video, you are guaranteed to make yourself thousands and thousands of coins. And I'm going to do an in-depth video on each of the major leagues, showing you guys the very best investments to pick up. As pretty much everyone will rise in price across those leagues when an SBC is released, but certain players will go up more than others. They include maybe certain positions where there's only one player for a certain club, or maybe there's only silver players in a certain position. Some of those cards will go up a lot more than others, and they're the cards I'll be showing you in these videos here and you'll be able to get the players for a couple of hundred coins now and in the future when these league SBCs are released you'll be able to sell them for thousands and thousands of coins making back around 10 or 15 times what you spend in terms of investment so this is a very very easy way to make yourself hundreds of thousands of coins so if you guys do enjoy the video if you do don't forget to leave a like on it let me know down below which league you'd like to see next for an investment guide and without further ado let's go on into it so the Serie A is absolutely jam-packed full of amazing investments you've got the potential to rise at max massively in value, making you guys thousands and thousands of coins. Now, this is because of two main reasons. Either it's a player that plays for a club made up of primarily silver cards, and compared to their bronze and gold counterparts, there's a much more limited supply of them on the market as less people open silver packs compared to bronze and gold packs. Or it's because the player plays in a position where there's only one or two other options, and that means there's going to be a really big demand for that card because with a league SBC, you have to fill out an entire squad from a certain club. So let's say you need a right back from from Udinese and there's only one right back you're gonna to have to buy that one card there's not many options and it means that card will rise up a lot more in price so I've cherry-picked the best investments from this area we've got 23 in total I'll show you guys the prices I'd recommend getting them for why the card I'm showing you is a good investment and I'll also cover the very best ones so which I'd recommend investing in uh, if you need to pick out of all of these although I would recommend just copying this concept squad I'll show you guys all the players here and the price I've paid for them and I'd recommend just building the same squad really and looking through and trying to get these cards at good prices. It's taken me around two weeks to almost complete this squad, um, but uh, I'm just trying to get these cards at the best prices. They fluctuate massively in price. Someone like Polirola, just as an example, right now is going for 2.7k. I've seen him go for 8k at times, and people have bought those cards, and I'm looking to get him for 2k or below. So what I do is I just have this concept squad. Whenever I log on to Ultimate Team, I look through, and for example, these two cards here, I've got them on my transfer targets, and I'll bid on them and try and win them as cheaply as possible. And if I can get him for about 2k or below, which is the price I'm looking to get him for, I'll be happy with that and I'll add him to the investment squad. So don't go out and rush out by all these players. Make sure that you just like be patient. You've got time with these SBCs. They're gradually released every week or so. So you should have time. I mean, it's probably going to be about a month or so until we see a Calcio SBC. Could be longer, could be less time, but you can be patient and uh, and really take your time to get these cards at the best prices. But we're going to start off with Pajanini right here. He plays for uh, one of the newly promoted sides which is called Frosinone, I think that's how you say, say that club's name. And he is the only right side of midfielder for the club. And I got him for 600 coins. As a general rule of thumb, non-rare silvers, try and get them for under 1,000 coins. Rare silvers, try and get them for about 1.5 kilo below. Unless, with the odd exception, someone like Dix, Padwan, the Adjonis, these types of players where they're in really, really high demand and they're really rare. I mean, if you look on the market, like this guy here, Gossens, there's only three of him on the market. This guy right here, Pole Roller, you've only got three on the market. If it's a really rare card like that, you may have to pay a little bit more. But someone like Farris, for example, uh, he's a lot more common on the market. So you want to get him for maybe like 1K, 1.5K, something like that. That's just a general rule of thumb, and it does depend on the players. But moving up into the, uh, the main squad right here, we've got Molinaro. He is the only left back for that same club, uh, Frosinone. Got him for 1.1K. If you can get him for around a similar price, you should be good there. Uh, we've also got another player from the same club, and that is Beghetto. He's the only left-sided midfielder, so 500 coins. If you can get him for that kind of price, or even cheaper, you're good to go. I'd, I'd just try and get any cards like this for a, for a good price of under about 1,000 coins, and you can make a lot of profit. I could expect any of these cards to go up 
maybe like three, four thousand coins. I think Molinaro could go up even more as he's a rare card, so it's obviously going to be rarer on the market. He could go to like six or seven K, and that type of profit, making maybe five, six thousand coins on a player, is crazy. And it's only really with this trading method that you can make that much profit that reliably. We've also got Pedro Pereira. Now I got this card for 900 coins, he's the only right sided uh, defender, so right back or right wing back for that club right there called Genoa. Uh, we've also got Gazzola who plays for Parma and is the only, again, right sided defender for them. I got, a, got him at a really good price there of 700 coins. We've got three players here that I haven't yet picked up just because I'm waiting to get them at a good price. I'm looking to get all these players for under 2,000 coins. So we've got uh, Orsolini right here, now he's the only right midfielder, like uh, as a right winger, right forward, right mid, anything like that for Bologna. Uh, we've also got this guy here playing for Atlanta, Gossens. He's the only left sided midfielder. Now, I actually got one of these cards for about 1.5k a couple of weeks ago, but I sold him for 10k when he went extinct. And you do see these prices fluctuate a lot. So you guys can make profit by trading with these cards, not only by investing in them, but also if you see someone like Gossens at a low price, you can just buy them, maybe like 2k or so. And you see these cards go up loads and loads in value. I, for example, got a couple of uh, a right mid playing the Bundesliga, I think for Stuttgart. I've forgotten his name. I got him for seven or eight hundred coins and I noticed a couple of days later He was going for 8k and I sold all those cards made about 15k profit and the next day He dropped down to a thousand coins and I reinvested so these cards fluctuate a lot and you can really profit off that and I will do a more in-depth video on that trading method uh, in the next couple of days. Polo Roller is the only right back for Sampdoria so he's a really good investment. He's a silver card, he's a high rated silver card to a rare one and that's going to mean that he's going to be very rare on the market compared to a lot of these other cards and that gives him uh, even more potential to rise in price as he's got quite a limited supply on the market. We've also got Untesi, this guy is the only right side midfielder I believe for uh, what club is this? I think it's Empoli. Uh, we've also got two right backs here who I think are great investments as they're both rare silvers and the rare cards are always rarer on the market compared to the non-rares and uh, they're both they're both silvers so really really good cards there. The only right backs for Fiorentina and that is Dix there who I got for under a thousand coins and also Lorini who I got for 2k which I think is probably a little bit over the odds. Let's see what he's going for now. Yeah he's going for like 1k um, so I think that's a card that I bought Kind of on a whim, I just saw him and picked him up, but he's now dropped down a little bit more in value. But that doesn't matter because he'll probably be going for like 3k in the next few days. They fluctuate so much, so you can still make profit on them. Uh, moving down here, we've got Pizella, who is the only left back, I believe, for Udinese. Got him for 300 coins, really good deal right there. We've got Ter Avest, who I believe is the only right sided defender, got him for 800 coins there for Udinese. We've got Digman, who I believe is the only right back at uh, Spal, got him for 750. Faris I got for 1.2, he's the only left back for the same club. And then Costa, finishing off the trio from Spal, he's the only left sided midfielder. Uh, we've also got Rolando, the only right sided midfielder for uh, Sampdoria right there, going for 700 coins. And by, I got him for 1.4k, and I believe is one of only a handful of right backs who play. For Bologna, but they're all silver cards, so they've got a, a big potential there to rise up in price. We've got Dix, who I believe is the only left back for the same club, so really, really good one there. I did pay a little bit more for him, 1.1k, but he's a card that I could easily see going up to like six or seven k uh, in the the next couple of weeks when the SBC is released. We've also got Padwan, who is the only right back for Cagliari. Really good investment. Cagliari have got some brilliant cards who will rise up a lot in price. The only right back, and he's a rare silver. He could easily go extinct to like 10k because his price gap increased and he's a player who I could see going up maybe 10, 15 times what he's currently worth. We've also got Liko GNS. This guy's the only left back for the same club. And again, being a rare silver means he's a little bit more limited on the market. There's less of a supply, but there's still going to be a big demand as he's the only left back for the club. So he will go up a lot. And we've got two final players finishing off again from Calgary. Both midfielders, the only right mid for Rago and the only left mid Pajac there. Good investments. Looking at the prices, I paid 650 right there and 700 coins. So I'm not spending much on these guys. You guys could probably build an entire Serie A investment squad for around about 30k, I'd say. And you could easily turn that 30k into about 200k. Once the SBCs are released, you'll be able to make that much profit. Probably even more, really. I mean... What I've done is I've got duplicates of some of these best investments. So, for example, someone like Dix, I think Padwan as well, Lika Janus, all these guys here, so especially the players who are the only card in their certain position, I think they can rise up so much. So I have a lot of duplicates of them on my transfer list. So I'll probably be able to make like three, 400k when one of these SBTs are released. And I've covered, I, I'm, I've covered myself with these types of squads full of investments 
from the five major leagues. So I can make about two or three million coins once all those SBCs are released. And it is crazy. I did the same last year. I made millions of coins, literally millions, which is crazy considering you're just trading with silver cards. And I, I expect I'll be able to do the same this year as well. But in terms of the best investments, the ones that I think will rise at the most in price, I think you've got to look at these types of cards here, the rare silvers who are the only cards in their positions. Pad one's a great one. Lico Janus is good. Dix is good as well. I think these two guys are solid investments as well. You're mainly looking at left and right backs and left and right mids as they're typically rarer. You not, don't really have many cards in those positions. Any of these types of cards are good investments too. I think Molinaro can go up a lot. I think these three here are probably the ones that will be the rarest and hardest to get. Um, so I'm looking to get them as cheaply as possible. I mean, Polo Roller, we've literally just got two cards on the market. I'm going to bid on both of these and get them as cheaply as possible if I can. Under 2k is the price I'm looking to pay for him. I could see him going up to like 20k or so if an SBC is released. We saw Silvers from the league, huh? I believe Defenders from Lille go up to 40k at one point last year when the SBC was released. So it is possible to make huge amounts of profit. Uh, this guy here I could see going up massively as well. And then I think as well you've got this option here. And he's got a few cars listed on the market. There is one there for 3k. Which I'm contemplating buying, but I do want to get him under 2k. I think 3k is a bit much for an investment. I can still make a lot of profit on him, but I think I can make more if I get him cheaper. So I'll, I'll hold off on him. And as I said, you can be patient with these investments. There's, there's no need really to rush and instantly go out and buy all these cards. I've shown you guys the concept squad, so you guys can just copy it. And every time you log on to Ultimate Team, look through and get these cards at the right prices. No need to rush because you'll be able to maximize your profits if you just take your time and get these cards at better prices. But this is the Serie A, which is, in my opinion, the best or maybe the second best. I think this and the League are the two best leagues to invest in. Uh, I will do the League Out as my next investment guide. And then you guys can let me know down below whether you want to see the Premier League, the Bundesliga, uh, or whatever whatever else. Obviously, we've got La Liga. I can even do these videos for the smaller leagues, like the Liga Nos, if that is something you guys would like to see uh, because this is such an easy way of making coins and the the profit margins are crazy you're getting cards for a couple hundred coins that you can sell for thousands and thousands of coins and if you guys spend about 100k on investments with these types of methods you can turn that into five or six hundred k it is crazy and you guys can do this even on a really low budget you could spend about 10k on investments turn that into nearly 100k you can turn 100k into loads more coins by investing in other leagues it is a very very easy way of making coins now i have actually already done a video kind of similar to this where i went over the best league sbc investments but i covered all the leagues in one video and I didn't really go into that much detail so I just kind of show you guys the players and that was it so I want to do a more in-depth video like this and I will do these for the other leagues uh, showing you guys the price I'd recommend paying for these cards um, and kind of why I'd recommend investing them because as I said I didn't really cover that in the last video so I thought I, I should do a more up-to-date video especially just given how effectively uh, you can make coins with this method it's probably the, the, the easiest and best way of making coins especially on quite a low budget on this game uh, also if you're wondering when to sell these cards I'd recommend waiting until the league SBCs are released and selling the majority of the cards uh, quite early on maybe within about uh, i'd say maybe six seven hours of the sbc being released don't sell them immediately just because if you do that that's when everyone sells their cards on so there's kind of a, a bit of a plummet in price because everyone's listing their cards so there's suddenly a big supply on the market but if you wait a little bit a few hours in most cases they will then rise up in price but if it's a really rare card like polo roller for example any of these types of players those players that i said were like the best investments the very best ones all these cards are good but the best ones maybe wait like a week or two and by that time all the people who have sold their investments will have sold them Loads of those cards will have been bought up and used in SBCs and they'll get really rare and that's when their price caps start increasing loads and that's when they get extinct. And I think the most expensive a silver player has gone from one of these SBCs was El Ghazi last year, a right winger from Lille. He went from being a couple of thousand coins to being 60 or 70k at his peak, which was crazy. Just because he was extinct, the price range kept going up and it was because he was the only right side of midfielder for the club. And he went up that much in price. And we've got so many players here who've got the potential to do exactly that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. Let me know down below which of these investments you think is the best to get. I think out of all these guys, the very best one is Paul Lerola. I think he can go up so much in price. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you later. Take care.